Hello, everybody. How is everybody doing today? Yes, it is Aaron, the ephemera guy, with the bro chat. And I'm making this video today to let y'all know that there is a change in the weekly book drop sale that I've been doing from the beginning of the year. I figured, why not make it a daily book drop sale? So yes, it's the same deal, but it's every day now. Let me know what you think about this concept and if you like it or not. In the comment section below, just let me know. And so as y'all know, I'm bringing 10 books. Each book is $3 and it's a flat rate shipping of $3 within the United States. Now, if you're outside of the United States, you can email me and see what we can work out. But within the United States, it's $3 flat rate shipping. And... Let's get started. So first off, we have the story of the other wise men by Henry Van Dyke. And this was copywritten in 19... I don't know if you can see it that well. 19, it says, it, my fault, 1899. 1899. And I guess this is the story of the other wise men. So this is a great, great story here. And it has 70 pages. And all in this book. And another thing about this video and the books I'll be bringing, all of them will be antique. These are antique books. So now we have a child's a child's garden of verses by Robert Stevenson. And this is co this was copywritten. Well, almost antique. This one it says copywritten, the illustration copywritten in 1919, but the edited edition of 1935. So here you have different almost like uh ch children rhyme uh Riddles and rhymes. Some beautiful pictures inside of here. This book has 64 pages. That's right. I'm sorry. I forgot. Um, I forgot to assign the books. So each book will be assigned a name and to claim the book that you want just write in the name that I assign the books so for this one just type in wise now if you would like to claim this book just type in versus now we have the world's famous orations by Matthew Bryan. And this is volume three, Great Britain. And 
And this was copywritten in 1906. And this book has 248 pages. If you'd like to claim this book, just type in oration. Now we have Lucille. I don't see a copywritten page in this book, but it's very faintly written. This little note right here says 1891. I guess. You see, you got some nice uh, art work in here. I guess this was, this was dedicated to his father. And if you can tell, the, the, the sides of the pages have gold tone sidings of it. And this book has 369 pages. So if you'd like to claim this book, just type in Lucille. Now we have Brooks Readers, eighth year, with the eighth book series and this book was copywritten in 1906 beautiful pictures inside of there and this book has Two hundred and forty seven pages. So if you'd like to claim this book, just type in readers. Now we have the Scarlet Letter by Hawthorne. And this was copywritten in nineteen twenty three. Very and just antique. And you kind of know where how the story goes. So this book has 243 pages. So if you'd like to claim this book, just type in letter. Now we have this one doesn't have a copy written page in this one either but you see it says book seller Berlin so this is children at the Robin and other stories this has a little issues with it condition issues with it but not too bad. There are some pages in here, some uh, artwork in here. Well, I know it is, I just can't find it. <laughs> but, um,. This book has 128 pages. If you'd like to claim this one, just type in Robin. Now we have Robin Caruso. 
for boys and girls. And this book was copywritten in 1904. This has a few artwork in it. And this book has 121 pages. So if you'd like to claim this one, just type in Robinson. Now we have some Nautica theme books. Look at this beautiful gold tone circle in the middle of this book. And the author is a, is W.W. W. Jacobs. And this book is at Sunwich Port. Port. And this was copywritten in 1902. This here has a few artwork in it also. So this book has 351 pages. If you'd like to claim this one, just type in port. And it's yours. And we have another one. This one is Ships Company. And this was copywritten in 1911. This has some artwork in it. And this book has 261 pages. So if you would like to type, if you would like to claim this book, just type in company. If you'd like to claim this one, type in company. So that does it for today, drop sale. And for the ones I do for the ones who don't know, I do my invoicing at Saturdays nights directly after my sale that I have Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern. So I will if you do claim a book. If you don't say otherwise, like if you if you if you got if you want it earlier, email me and let me know if you want me to invoice you and you know earlier and when you want me to ship it. But otherwise, if you do claim a book, if you don't say anything, I will invoice you for the book Saturday nights. Saturday night around eight, nine o'clock. And if you're new to me, I don't have your information. I will put my email address in the comment section or in, in the in the comment section and in the description box below. I need you to email me your name address and payback and paypal address and then we can get the ball rolling 
So yes. I am bringing the fire. Yeah. So, tomorrow, I will be bringing, it will be children books tomorrow. And following day, I don't know, maybe a mix. Let's see where that goes. But tomorrow, it will be children books for tomorrow. So, I think that does it. So I will see y'all tomorrow. And if you do see something you like, please type in the name that I assigned to the book to claim it. And I will make a list of the stuff that was claimed in the comment section to, be, to in the below in the comment section. So check that to make sure if what you want hasn't been claimed yet. So, till then, have a good night.